What happens when you turn the lights off? Well, the next story is all about growing things in the dark. So we send Kitty to Monaghan to find out how technology and innovation have played a key role in this globally successful company. This facility, located in the middle of the countryside in County Monaghan, is in fact the site of one of the largest mushroom producers in the world. Started in 1980 by school teacher Ronnie Wilson, it has grown into a massive global company, and I want to find out how this Irish company has become a global success story. The first thing to understand is that mushrooms are grown in a material called substrate. It takes four phases to create this substrate, and it's in this material that mushroom mycelium can grow and establish itself. So the initial raw material is a byproduct from the grain industry. Yeah, absolutely. So effectively, you, you grow your grain, you, you, you know, take the grain off the straw, and the straw is the residual. So we're, we're using that to then become our input material, our primary input material for, uh, for compost. So this is the substrate, and then there's a darker layer as well. Yeah, so the, the substrate is here. This is, um, this is your straw and your, your compost. So you can see that the straw has been taken, it's been broken down. You can see the white specks there, and that's the mushroom mycelium running through this, uh, the straw. And it, it's going to extract all the nutrient from that straw and very much pull it through whenever we get to the fruiting stage of our mushrooms. And then spent mushroom, it's a well-known soil conditioner. How does that work, I suppose, the whole circular economy model of the business? We then take that spent compost and bring that back essentially to the tillage farmers from which we took it, and they use that as a soil conditioner, um, offsetting the need for artificial fertilizer. So really circular and something that can be very sustainable because you, you, you repeat that over and over. So with advances in research and development, it's now claimed that mushrooms are not only good for immune health, but they are a natural source of vitamin D and B. I'm going to talk to head scientist Jude Wilson to get an insight into how science plays a role here at Monaghan Mushrooms. I always call it dissected, the mushroom compost, the growing substrate, in order to identify what microorganisms are in there and what they do. So we have extracted, isolated microorganisms from compost and we have being able to characterize them in terms of their biological function within compost, we can grow those microorganisms and put them back into the mushroom compost at different times to increase the nutritional content of the compost or the productivity of the compost. So we really understand the entire microbial community within mushroom compost and how it changes over time. And we understand how the microbial community of the compost during mushroom cultivation changes over time. And it allows us to make very natural interventions if we need to. Mushrooms are grown all year round here. And it's the use of innovation and technology that improves the efficiency and the output of the farm. The growers are constantly trying to create the best conditions in which to produce the mushrooms. Growing houses themselves are all controlled by computers and in that we're trying to control the temperature, we're trying to control the humidity and we're balancing the carbon dioxide and the oxygen and the computer is picking up sensor messages to do that. If I was to select a mushroom for harvesting here, what would I be looking for? Right, that's not an easy question, and I'd probably need 12 weeks getting <laughs> to train you to be able to do that. So on this bed, it's probably all about separation. This probably looks like a baby button that you would see in a punnet. Um, if we pick that correctly, the mushrooms around it will be golf balls tomorrow. And to give you a bit of an idea, these mushrooms increase in size, they double in size every 24 hours. Phenomenal. Which people don't believe. So if we don't pick this house properly today, we have got a problem tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> 